Hope all of you out there are getting set to have a fantastic weekend, and it's a beautiful Friday here on Eagles. Now, coming up, Philadelphia Eagles once again linked to all-pro safety Justin Simmons and NFL free agency. How? Why it makes sense? All that coming your way. So Howie Roseman and the Philadelphia Eagles have been one of the busiest teams across the NFL this offseason, in particular in NFL free agency, all of this leading up to the draft when Howie Roseman going to have an opportunity once again to flex his muscles and maybe trade up in the draft. There's some, been some buzz about that and address some more needs on this Philadelphia Eagles roster. And on today's show, we're going to continue the conversation on Justin Simmons potentially signing with the Birds, Philadelphia continues to be listed as one of the perfect remaining fits for the four-time second-team All-Pro in NFL free agency. And why I think this makes perfect sense for the Eagles to go this route to address a need and to bring in one of the best defensive players in the NFL over the last several years, well, he's one of the best safeties in the National Football League. And if you sign Justin Simmons, it dramatically improves what was last year a poorest secondary that was one of the worst in the NFL. As far as the scheme fit goes, Justin Simmons has already played under Vic Fangio. So he's very familiar with what Vic Fangio wants to do and his philosophies on the defensive side of the football. But as far as personnel goes within that scheme, you sign Justin Simmons. This allows C.J. Gardner-Johnson to tap into his strengths for you to maximize Chauncey Gardner-Johnson as a player, and it allows him to roam all around the football field. Howie Roseman said, we signed Devin White. We signed C.J. Gardner-Johnson because we wanted to bring back that swagger to the defensive side of the football. Justin Simmons is a team leader. He's not all too vocal as far as talking trash. But he's an accomplished player in this league, four-time second-team All-Pro, leads the NFL in interceptions since 2016 when he came into the league because he's about that business. And his background, his resume, it speaks for itself. So if you sign Justin Simmons, it gives you more experience and then just naturally more swagger on defense. And if you pair Justin Simmons and C.J. Gardner-Johnson, what are they going to do which is what was missing from this defense last year that was a strong suit of the defense in 2022 when the Eagles made it to the Super Bowl. They can generate turnovers. I talked about the numbers with Simmons intercepting passes. C.J. Gardner-Johnson has a bunch of interceptions in his last two years combined. He actually tied with Justin Simmons back in 2022 for the league lead in interceptions. The ideal plan for me and for Howie Roseman, you sign Justin Simmons, right? And then you draft an outside corner in addition to a slot cornerback. Boom! The secondary right there is fixed. Howie Roseman, are you watching the show? Do you want to hire me? I'd think about it, but I do love the job here at Chat Sports. I don't love the current status of this Eagles secondary right now, especially this safety depth chart. You can get by with C.J. Gardner-Johnson and Reed Blankenship as your starting safeties if the pass rush is operating at a maximum level. And there are huge risks with moving on from Hassan Reddick. You're now relying on Bryce Huff, one year of production. Nolan Smith, under 100 pass rushing snaps last year. Josh Wett, who was bad at the end of the year. Can he rebound? And Brandon Graham, 15th season for him. And you also have a linebacking core that is also a big question mark. You upgraded with Devin White and Oren Burks. What can N'Kobe Dean do going into year three? But we're talking about that as if it would be a perfect situation and a perfect scenario. In the NFL, throughout the rigors of a 17-game schedule, things don't go perfectly all the time. So in signing Justin Simmons, you make up for and you are able to absorb some of the mistakes that might happen, some of the injuries that might happen. And I like Sidney Brown. But you saw Justin Simmons, you get even deeper in this secondary at this safety spot. And then the versatility of this defense is something that I really, really like. Because C.J. Garner-Johnson can be used as a safety. He can be used in the slot. Sidney Brown 
can play deep safety because he's a 4-4 40-yard dash guy. We saw that speed on display last year. Or he can be that player around the line of scrimmage who you also use as a chess piece to make life difficult for the opposition. And then Reed Blankenship is a high-level backup. Anybody who is criticizing the Eagles' decision to sign him to a contract extension, you got to relax. He's a UDFA who has overcome adversity, cracked the roster, been a good player in his first two years, and he's exceeded any expectations anybody had for a UDFA. Blankenship is a fringe starter. He's probably a starter on a mediocre to bad team, but he's also a great depth piece. He's a solid player, and you can use him all around the football field too because that's what we've seen from him the last two years and in his first two years in the National Football League. I'm wondering here, though, Justin Simmons is still out there. He has not been signed. All we've talked about is rumors linking Philadelphia to him. And we'll get to more of those rumors coming up here just around the corner. He's going to be 31 years old in November. So if he's willing to come to Philadelphia on an affordable price, I'm doing it. But also right now, Eagles have a bunch of cap space they can use at their disposal. And they don't need all of that money, even after the Jordan Mailata extension, for a Devontae Smith extension or the rookie draft picks. There's going to be a lot of money left over. So coming up next, how are the Eagles linked to Justin Simmons? We're going to get to the latest on that. But first, if you want this four-time second-team All-Pro to rock the midnight green in 2024 and maybe beyond, I want you to hit that thumbs-up icon and like the video. Today's Eagles Now, by the way, is sponsored by Game Time. Game Time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all things sports, comedy, music, and theater. Game Time believes that the impromptu moments in life lead to incredible shared experiences. So they built a ticket marketplace that makes it faster and easier to get into your favorite events at a moment's notice. Game Time is the place for last-minute tickets, and it gives fans access to last-minute tickets to the most popular events in more than 60 cities across the United States and Canada. You can get images of your seat before you buy so you know what to expect when you arrive. This is also a fast app to use. You can buy tickets with two taps. I'm telling you, you'll score tickets quickly and without the hassle. So skip the hassle and enjoy the moment. You want to go to a Sixers game, Philadelphia Phillies game. Bills are in Washington, D.C. this weekend. You want to go to the nation's capital? Not a far drive down I-95. You can do that. $20 off, too, by the way, if you use the code chat sports. That's $20 off. Code chat sports. Terms apply. All that information is available for you down in the comment section and in the show notes. Eagles are a fit for Justin Simmons. We already know that. But NFL insiders, executives, analysts, publications think that Simmons to Philly makes a lot of sense. And there's been a theme. There's been a paper trail. There's been consistent chatter of this maybe happening. Here's what the 33rd team said about Justin Simmons signing with the Birds. He said, the Philadelphia Eagles tried to take the veteran safety path last year when they traded for Kevin Byard, but that didn't work out. That doesn't mean they shouldn't take another shot at a safety who has played better later in his career. And I agree with that point from the 33rd team. Just because Kevin Byard was a former All-Pro and a veteran and he didn't work out does not mean that Simmons won't work. He hasn't shown the signs of decline that Kevin Byard has. Also, he's a better player than Kevin Byard and a better fit as the ball-hawking center field safety for this Eagles team. More from the 33rd team here. A saturated safety market might help the Eagles here. There was a lot of talent to go around, and outside of the 25-year-old Xavier McKinney, there weren't many big contracts given out at the position. Philadelphia still has more than $27 million in effective cap space per over the cap. That should allow the team to give a soon-to-be 31-year-old a competitive offer. So this was written before the Jordan Mylotta contract extension, but the Mylotta contract extension comes when he had two years left on his deal. So you don't really have to worry about that money for a while. The money is there for Howie Roseman. It could be given to Devontae Smith for a contract extension, but there's also no, no need to do that extension now. The timeline for that would be next year after you exercise the fifth-year option 
and then he's going into the final year of his deal. That's when you renew Devontae Smith. Chase, why did he do it with Landon Dickerson? Same draft class. Only first-round picks get that fifth-year option. Landon Dickerson, second-round pick. Justin Simmons played more single-high safety in 2023 than he had in his previous three seasons and still comes with the ability to play the slot and in the box. Adding Simmons would allow more movement for C.J. Gardner-Johnson, who signed that three-year deal and has experience at safety and in the slot. Mostly played the slot early in his career, did C.D. Deuce. Then he played more safety in Philadelphia and Detroit. You always want to cater to a player's strengths. Vic Fangio knows that. That's why he's a great, malleable defensive coordinator who can adjust and bring the best and maximize some of the players on the roster. And what's one key word that we've been talking about on today's show at that safety spot? Justin Simmons, C.J. Gardner-Johnson, Reed Blankenship, Sidney Brown. They're all versatile options. And you can find snaps, you can find playing time for all of these players and play them at a variety of areas. Switch up looks. Switch up tendencies, switch up schemes. That's why I like this move so much. And the value of C.J. Gardner-Johnson is him playing everywhere. And you bring in Simmons, and the other safeties are able to do that, and this is able to check off so many boxes to make your football team better. And isn't that the goal? I get it. There's been a youth movement this offseason for Philadelphia. They've signed a lot of younger players. Whereas in previous off-seasons, we've seen Howie Roseman sign a lot of older players to short-term contracts. But you still have to fill out your roster. And there's a really good player out there, and I want good players on my football team. If you've been enjoying our free agency and NFL draft coverage here at Chat Sports, throw us another like, hit that thumbs up icon. Thanks for watching the show. More coverage to come all throughout this weekend. If breaking news happens, regardless of where I am, we're going to talk about it here.